Next, on the borough, we head to Storm Healthy Energy, a new artisan drink shop that offers low-calorie alternatives to energy drinks created by two local entrepreneurs. Molly, how did Storm get started? So Storm got started really when Cole, my business partner, and I met during COVID, and we started working out together, going to the gym. We were both really into fitness, and we were going to Starbucks a lot. We found ourselves tired in the middle of the day, and we would get these 200, 300 calorie espresso drinks. They were loaded with cream, sugar, yeah. and just kind of a bunch of unhealthy stuff. Um, so one day we were kind of like, let's do research on energy drinks, because we never drank energy drinks, never were really pre-workout fans. Yeah. Um, so we researched and kind of saw what other companies used, and we were like, what if we created something that's cleaner, something that's less calories, no sugar, and something that we can drink on the daily and not feel guilty about it. We ordered in a bunch of ingredients, so we took vitamin powder, green tea, and guarana, which is natural forms of caffeine. Right. Um, we put it all together and we came up with one flavor, which we would just make for ourselves to go to the gym. Mixed it up and it sounds like Mixed it, was it up. It didn't taste great at first. Okay. We were drinking it, we're like, okay. And we were just drinking them and thought this, this could be good. Nothing business planned. Yeah. And then we started talking to friends and family and they're like, what if you did this as a business? And, and Storm was born. Storm was born. Why did you pick the name Storm? So we wanted something to do with Florida since we're both Florida natives. And then we're like, okay, if it's an energy drink, a storm has a lot of energy. There's a lot of things. We get storms all the time, hurricanes. We're like, everyone can kind of relate to it. People don't know what we are, but that name might trigger something to them. No, it makes sense. What made you choose to start Storm in Hillsborough County? Well, as we all know, Tampa is a huge up and coming city as it's always existed, but people are flooding here in very large numbers. And we just thought we could bring something new to a place that already has a lot of people that are into the fitness industry. There's young people, there's people that have been around, and we just wanted to bring a newer concept to a community that we both grew up around. You're definitely taking the Hillsborough County by storm. Yes. What are yes. your future plans? So we would love to have another location. We want to get in somewhere near colleges just because we have a lot of younger crowd and we want to be able to influence these people that are going to these unhealthy energy drinks and turn them on something cleaner. However, our first goal is to get our stuff packaged so that we can sell it to the consumer online and have them be able to make it at home. So we're gonna focus on that and then work on a second location. That sounds like a great plan. Now let's yeah. go make something. All right. Cool, so you guys have a bunch of, it looks like protein shakes, refreshers. Tell yes. me about your flavors. So they all started kind of on the basis of low calorie, low sugar. We didn't want any artificial sweeteners. Right. No high fructose corn syrup. Cause you go to a lot of places around pretty much every place and it's pumped in with sweeteners and they don't really look at what's going into it. Yeah. You just think, oh, it's a shake or it's full of fruit, it's healthy. Other than that, we just started with a small recipe and adding to it as the months, weeks and just natural truth of what people would tell us. We, hey, how do you want this sweeter? What would you like differently in your shake? Versus just, here's the product, I hope you enjoy it. We wanted to be more of a engagement to the community. Everything was just based off the one flavor we were making for ourselves at home. Yeah. And when it became a business aspect, we're like, oh, we need a lot of product because we need something that anybody that comes in can enjoy, whether it's kids, young adults, anybody. You so, want to serve a lot of people. Yes. So that hence all the flavors. Yeah. We like to get our produce from locally. There's a little market on West Shore. Okay. We always go get our bananas, strawberries, stuff like that, ginger. So what's your most popular shake and what's your most popular refresher? So our two most popular shakes is the peanut butter cup, strawberry shortcake. My favorite's the banana cream just because I like the creaminess of it and just thick. Um, they're all more like milkshakes and smoothies. You won't taste the protein. That was one of our goals making them. Um, as for the refreshers, I think blueberry lime, uh, pink starburst, and even sea monster probably our best sellers. Okay. The dairy-free, why does that make such a difference in the shakes? So a lot of people with dairy-free is calorie count and fat count because mm -hmm. we wanted to start keeping it low and when you have alternatives like whole milk or creamers or whatever you go, you lose kind of your range of calorie count just with that. Yeah. So by using the plant-based protein and the almond milk, we're able to just start with our base at 180 calories and then we work from there. Okay, that's great. So what are we gonna make? We're gonna make a peanut butter cup. Okay. So I like to start with the almond milk, okay. pre-measured out. And do you use like a special brand of almond milk or any almond milk will do? Any almond milk will do, but we wanna get to the point of cold pressing our own almond milk that okay. way. 
We're not using a big conglomerate company. You got it. All right, so we start with the almond milk. We prep everything, that way the calorie counts there, the sugar count, we know what's going into it. Okay. So it's a consistent taste. So there's the peanut butter base and the protein. And we always add a frozen banana for texture. And then chocolate, no high fructose corn syrup. It's five simple ingredients. So there's the cocoa. I normally do a five second pull in my head just yeah. to know. So this one is our highest calorie count, but it's highest protein. It's 327. We measure them out so we know that. Yeah. And it's 26 grams of protein. It's a meal. Yep. Yeah. But you have a lot of flavors. If I came in here, could I just like make my own flavor? Yeah, so our whole thing is when you come in this door, we want it to be an experience for you. So if you wanted something added to it, it's no problem for us because we are trying to sell a full experience. So if you wanted spinach in that, we can do that. If you wanted uh, wheatgrass, whatever, we can make it happen. You can change it up. Well, it seems like you all are doing a great job. You've built yeah. a good business in the middle of the pandemic. Yes. And you are taking Hillsborough County by storm. Now go out and explore the borough.